Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will show you how to send our data from backend to frontend in React.js. So if you remember, I have made a video in which I show you how to send our data from frontend to backend. And if you want to see how to do that, you can check that video. I will link the video in the description. But in this video, we will see how to get the data from backend and uh, show that or display that data in our front end with the help of react.js so uh, let me just show you what i have written here so first of all there is some app.js as you can see here and uh, i have uh, write the home component here so let me just show you the file structure here so you can see in the src tag i have a component file in which there is home.js so there is a single file home.js and then the app.js is this one and then in the backend let me just close this src file in the backend we have mongo.js and i have written uh, like initial setup code not all the code here so i will be uh, writing the code so don't worry so this is some initial code for mongodb.js and it is very simple and some code for server.js also okay so i have written some code for server.js also the initial setup code so let me just show you in the home page let me just uh, start the app real quick so after like writing uh, these servers and uh, frontend code you have to uh, like on the server and frontend both so i will click on this button here and it will show two terminals so in the right one i will write nodemon server okay so this is uh, to start the server to start the backend so i will click ok enter and you can see it is uh, displaying port connected and mongodb connected and one more thing uh, i want to tell you uh, make sure to download these packages so you can you have to download these all packages in order to uh, not this one okay uh, remove not this one so remove this firebase not that one uh, so yeah these all you have to download in order to work with backend and frontend both so let's close this and after connecting the backend i will just write npm start to start the frontend also all right so as you can see we have our home js on the screen right here and you can see there is a simple input tag in which you have to write a name and then a submit button so let me just show you in the home page what i have written here so you can see in the html i have a form and an input tag here and in this input tag has an on change event so this will change the value of the name whenever you will write something so this use state you can see uh, this name variable this will change whenever you will write something so now let's start writing the code to first uh, send the data from frontend to backend and then we will see how to get the data from backend to frontend so to send the data from frontend to backend i have already shown in the previous video but i will show now also so first of all what you have to do uh, come down here and make an async function so i will write async and function here so make sure to name this function async then i will name the function submit you can name it anything then i will write e dot prevent default okay then i will write try and catch blocks so i will write try and also uh, catch blocks here this will take an argument and uh, this will be so this will display the error if there is any error so in that tri try block i will write await and axios all right and make sure to import the axios before writing that so i have already imported the axios so i can easily write this then i will write axios dot post and here you have to write http uh, semicolon double slash local host and then your port number <clears throat> so if you just see in the server you can see the port number is 8000 so i will write exactly that so make sure to write the same number 
8000 and then you have to write the name of your like post name so i will write here send data you can name it anything but uh, make sure uh, whatever you will write here so i have written here send data then i have to write send data here also so we will see later on what i mean by that now what i will do i will make a comma here and a curly braces and inside this i will pass name so what we are doing here uh, we will just uh, pass the name to the back end that's it and uh, and here i will make an on submit button here and this will be submit so whenever the form is submit uh, this function will occur okay then come in the server js and in this you have to write app dot post then the name of that post name so i will write here send data so make sure to write the same name and make sure to write async here also because it will be also an async function then request dot uh, the, uh, request comma response and it will be an arrow function now we'll get the name okay so whatever name i will write in the input i can get it here in the back end in this way so if you know uh, like if you know how to do this uh, skip to the part where i told you how to get the data from back end here i am sending the data to the back end first then i will uh, like uh, get the data from back end all right so it is giving me an error okay so this is will be in comma here not dot and after this i will write another try and catch blocks in the back end also so just like that try and catch blocks this will be this so oops uh, e all right and in that try block i will write const check or uh, not check or uh, let's say const or uh, let not write const so i will write await and then collection so uh, collection all right so if you just look here i have already required the collection from mongo js so make sure to do this so in this way i will just require this collection from mongo dbjs to our server js and now i can just write functions to insert the data so i will write insert many it is a function in mongodb to insert the data i will write name equal to name that's it so it will and you can see in the mongo.js i have a schema of name so it will only take one uh, entry which is name and i will or that so it is giving me an error okay so i have to write this in a curly braces so yeah just like that so so just save it and it will so this is the code uh, to like send the data from front end to back end so let just quickly test it and then we will see the our main code here so i will write here user one so this is a name and let it submit all right and let us see in our uh, terminal so nothing is there so that means there is no error and now let's see in our mongodb compass so open your mongodb compass and there you will see the data okay the user one which i have just now entered so click on connect and uh, see your database on the left side here so let me just show you what are the database name so you can see the database name is backend to front end so so here you can see this is there it is backend to front end click on this collections and all that so it is um, showing uh, no data so that means there is something wrong here so the data has not been submitted correctly all right guys so the mistake was i have written the spelling of this prevent default wrong so i have to write here e now everything will work fine let's test it real quick so i will write user one hit submit and now let's see now our mongodb compass here so yep as you can see our name is there user one uh, let's test this again so i will write a john hit submit let's see now mongodb compass so yep it is working great now uh, let's uh, like take the data from back end and submit it to front end 
so now the real video begins so to do that and also i have written here some then and catch blocks you can see are in this await axios so uh first let's write some code here okay so what i will do here um whenever i am inserting the data uh, i will make an another constant here and uh, i will write here all data and this will be equal to await collection and uh, collection dot find and that's it so in this way it will find all the data in that collection and this a uh, collection and this all data all the names uh, i have to give to the front end so we will do exactly that so we will collect all the names from this mongodb compass here and pass it to front end so how to do that very simple you just have to write res dot json and then all data that's it you are done okay so you are giving all the data from the back end and passing it to front end all right so this json is the way to do that now let's save it our back end work is complete and let's write some code in home js so here you have to write some code uh, what i will write here um, i will write if okay um if json dot so is if res dot data so how to get that data you have to write uh, res dot data okay so if it is equal to fail and uh, to get this i have to write fail here also so here if anything goes wrong i will write res dot json and fail okay so if anything goes wrong i will just pass fail and i will catch it here so if anything is failing i will alert the user and i will write failed and if that doesn't happen so that means everything is great then we will uh, set data okay so we will uh, first we will make a new use state okay so this will be data and this will be set data and it will be an array and uh, here we will set data equal to res dot data that's it so what we are doing uh, if everything is great we will just uh, like give the data to this set data and in this way all the names will be inside this uh, data array and now what we will do we will just we will uh, display all the names so to do that i will write data dot map so we will use the map function here an arrow function here p tag and then i will write e dot name uh, make sure to write curly braces e dot name all right that's it so we are done with all the data and we have successfully uh, like uh, given the back end data to front end so let's test if it works or not so let me just reload the page i will write here new name so this is the third name we are given so let's hit submit and yep as you can see all the names are now displaying here so that means we are successfully getting all the data from the back end and displaying it in this uh, here so if you just noticed user 1 and john are displaying two times let me just make sure in this one all right so yep as you can see they these are uh, five times here so five data let me test one more time reload the page and if i just write uh, let's say james submit here all right so it is working great okay so now there are six entries all right so yep six entries so it is working great so that's it we uh, that's it guys uh, i hope you enjoy and learn how to get the data from back end and send it to front end this is very easy you just have to use uh, this res dot json all right and this will automatically send the data to your front end and you can get the data with the help of this then and catch block so i hope 
uh, you learn something new and uh, if you like this video hit the subscribe button it will be very helpful to me and let me know in the comments what videos you want next what type of videos you want next and that's it for this video guys i will see you in the next one